Why is it sometimes that you try to motivate your team, but it just doesn't seem to work? Now, there are actually three factors that you have to consider in motivating your team. And that's what we will be talking about in today's session here at The Corporate Mechanic. Hi everyone, my name is Joey and welcome to The Corporate Mechanic, a show by managers for managers. Okay, so uh, today we're still on our motivation series and today I would like to talk about a topic known as Vroom's Theory, right? Or Vroom's Expectancy Theory. So what is it all about? Now, whenever we're trying to motivate our team, there should be three things that we need to consider. So for example, you're a manager and you tell your staff, okay, one of your staff, that if he or she finishes a project uh, by the end of the month, that he will get a promotion. Okay, so typically, you know, as managers, those are things that we do, right? We tell them, hey, you know, if you can finish this by this month, you know what, I'll give you a promotion. That should somehow motivate a resource, right? But sometimes it doesn't work. Now, these three things that you need to consider is actually the formula created by Victor Vroom back in the 60s. So this is his formula. His formula is motivation is actually equal to expectancy times instrumentality times valence. Okay, so these three things you have to multiply in order for you to motivate a resource. So what does this actually mean? So let's first talk about the concept of expectancy when you say expectancy what we're actually saying is that the ability of that person the perceived ability of that person to put in the work will actually result to something good okay so it will have an impact on his performance so in that example if that person knows that if he puts in the work his performance will actually improve. He might actually be able to finish the project within the end of the month. So that's very important. He needs to believe that he can actually do it. If, for example, that resource has, let's just say, five other projects at the same time, he knows for a fact that you know, that's impossible. That's something that I really can't do. You're giving me a goal that you know, given what I'm doing right now, I really cannot meet. And if that's the case, he doesn't believe that he can do it, then don't expect that person to be motivated. The expectancy is not there. He doesn't feel that he can do the work. So make sure that whatever you're giving that resource, it's something that he would believe he can actually accomplish. It's something that is within his bounds, within his capability. He would expect that his work will lead to better performance. So that's the first consideration. The second thing that you need to consider is what we call instrumentality. When we say instrumentality, what we're saying is that the effort that the person will put in is something that will actually lead to performance. Oh, sorry, that will lead to the outcome that he is desiring. Okay. So, meaning, if he actually finishes the project, he believes that he will actually be promoted because that is what you are telling him. Alright? So, it's something that has to actually come through. It will lead, his performance will lead to the proper outcome. Alright? So, if that's the case, then that's good. But then again, Sometimes, you know, let's face it guys, sometimes we just give empty promises to our staff, right? So if that person feels that, no, my boss wouldn't promote me, he's been saying that all along, he's been saying that to everybody, he never does it. In our organization, no one's been promoted in the last five years, so why would I believe him? So if that person does not believe that the promise will actually come through, that the outcome, whatever effort or whatever performance he puts in, it will not lead to the outcome, then that person will not be motivated. You have to make sure that whatever he does will actually lead to his, to the outcome that you have promised or to the outcome that he is 
expecting. Okay, so that's very important. So don't give empty promises. When you say something, when you commit to something as a manager, then you should actually do it. Otherwise, that person will not get motivated. All right. Now, the third thing that you have to take into consideration is what is known as valence. Valence is essentially the value of that outcome. Is that value something that is worth something to that person? Meaning, is it worth doing? Is it worth uh, achieving at all? Because if it's not, then why would I put in the effort? So let's just say in that example, a promotion is something that that resource actually wants. He wants to get promoted and therefore he will put in the effort to finish the project by the end of the month because he believes that that promotion is something that he actually wants to have. But if that value, that outcome, that result that you are expecting or that you are promising is something that has no value to that resource, then don't expect that person to actually be motivated. You know, for all you know, that person actually wants, doesn't want a promotion. So you're offering him something that he does not want. For all you know, that person, what he wants is more money, you know, a higher salary. It's not the promotion because promotion often comes with higher, with more work. What that person wants is more money, a higher paycheck without the additional uh, you know, additional tasks, additional responsibilities of being promoted. Or that person might want a different position, you know, a dip, to be transferred to a different department, other benefits, other opportunities. Probably that person wants to travel and stuff like that. It's not the promotion per se, it's the ability to travel or the ability to get more money. So you as a manager have to make sure that what you are giving that person is something that he actually wants to achieve. He actually wants to get and we all know that our team all of them have different wants and needs so better make sure that you know what you're offering what you're offering is something that they want so that they will be motivated at the same time when you are doing something when you are saying something committing something make sure that you actually you know follow through what you are committing so that it is something that is instrumental. They will believe that their effort will result to something. And then, of course, make sure that whatever task that you are giving them is something that they can actually do. All right? So these are the three things. Expectancy, instrumentality, and valence. By having all of that together, you can be assured that that person will be motivated. All right. So I do hope you were able to learn something today. If you have some comments, questions, feel free to write that in the comment section. Ask us anything that you'd want and we will try to answer as much as we can. Please do like and subscribe. Hit on the notification on, on this episode and this channel so that you'll be notified whenever we have new uh, episodes that we will be launching. Okay, so thank you for watching. Stay safe and stay blessed. Oh, 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 oh,